Happy Palm Sunday. It's a powerful day today. It's Palm Sunday, and we're going to be breaking down this energy today. You have to focus on victory and triumph, peace and everlasting life. And that's what today's message is all about. When we actually break down the energy and, and, the, and the symbolism of the palm and what we're all going through right now, this is the return of Christ. And you could write it in the chat right now. This is the return of Christ. It's happening all over the world. This energy cannot be stopped. Oh, nothing could stop this light, warriors. It is the return of Christ. It's a very powerful day. We're all going to focus on this energy today on the Palm Sunday. And by doing so, we're going to be creating a ripple that gets out into the ether to shift us to where we're all headed. Picture that peace palm and, and, and the energy that it represents. This is the Sunday sermon. And it's going to help us get where we need to be. We have to embrace on how to express ourselves the way that we want to express ourselves and not falling into the deception of the carbon copies. We're rising above that right now. We're not falling into that carbon copy and that energy. The return of Christ is allowing you to express yourself the way that you want to express yourself. We've been doing that on this channel for a while. We don't have to do the popular things, but we're going to do the authentic things, the things that are very powerful. And each and every one of you that are getting this message today, that's what you have to focus on. By doing the authentic things, that's where it's going to get you to the highest version of ourselves. By trying to fit in, it actually dims your light. By trying to fit in, it actually dims your light. And you have to express yourself. You have to roar like the lion. Are the lions in the chat? You can let us know. And please smash the like button. Please put a like on this video. It's going to help others find this very important, powerful message to help you embrace the energy of the Palm Sunday and becoming the person that you came here to be in the now moment. We didn't come here to wait around. We didn't come here to worship false idols on the television. We actually came here to embrace the God seed that was implanted within each and every one of us within our DNA. And each and every one of us have unique expressions that are going to be building this new reality, this new earth. The messenger, thank you so much. I appreciate you. God walks amongst us again. Hallelujah, my brothers and sisters. Remember, everything happens for a reason. Absolutely. Love you. Praise the lion and the lamb. Remember that, the messenger? Remember when the lion used to lay down with the lamb? And now, if you're familiar and awake and aware of the Mandela effect, it says the wolf lies with the lamb. There's actually statues built with the lion and the lamb, which if you look at the, the manipulated scripture right now, it says the wolf lies with the lamb. And what that's doing is waking up the collective that's sealed in the forehead. You remember that? Are you sealed in the forehead or the 144? Hit the 144 in the chat right now. Look at that. The lion is coming in. Grand Rising, it's good to see you. Everyone's coming in. Please put a like on this video. This is a very powerful message today. Let's get it out to the, to the masses. So if you haven't done so already, smash the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And even if you think you are, double check just in case. Just in case there's crazy things that are going on in the past week. So subscribe to the channel, double check that you're subscribed to the channel, and click the bell, select all. We have daily videos, 9 a.m. Eastern time, just in case if that notification doesn't go off. A lot of crazy things are going on out there, but we have to build our own community and society and focus on this energy right now. Yeah, you, you could see the 369 energy flowing in right now. 
If you uh, like this and, and the message resonates with you, if you're new today, if you'd like to join our Patreon, we host live Zoom meetings, uncensored content on Patreon. The link is in the description. If you'd like to support this channel and the work, there is a link at the pinned comment. And we all have to embrace our unique energy right now. You have to embrace the power of the palm. You see, Palm Sunday is not a day, you know, people ha hand out, you know, pieces of palm, palm branches. They just hand it out. It's a lot more than that. We're not, we're not uh, concerned anymore with some, uh, you know, crazy, uh, you know, drone on the, on the, on the TV gives a big mass. Everyone's turning it off right now. And we're actually embracing the authentic 144 codes, John 12, 13, they took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of of the Lord. The palm branches are showing us where we're headed to this new earth. They lay the palm branches down. It is a time of peace. We've been in a time of war. Now we are entering a time of peace. If you're embracing the peace in the fifth dimension, you could hit the 555 in the chat right now. We're headed to the fifth dimension. Jesus Christ came into the fifth dimension. Jesus Christ came in on a donkey. The donkey symbolizing arrival in peace. That's what today is all about. Arrival in peace. And you could write it in the chat. Arrival in peace. That's what we all have to be focused on this energy right now. Jesus comes in on a donkey, arrival in peace, rather than a war waging king arriving on a horse. You know, we we really have to focus on what is what is the meaning of all this. You know, we're 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 embracing the common everyday life person, right? We don't need the fancy things, the the prestige, right? Jesus arrives on a donkey. The symbolism is that it is an arrival of peace. And that's where we're headed right now. Virginia, thank you so much for the support. Good morning. Soaking up the, the sunshine today. Appreciate all you do. I appreciate you, Virginia. I'll see you on the Zoom this week, too. <laughs> you could talk again. Right? Listen, this is what we're all about. This is the energy. We're all roaring like a lion right now. Society try to get us to keep it all hush, hush, keep it inside, but we have to embrace what's lying dormant inside of us. That is the code that is coming to the forefront today. It's rising up today. We are no longer keeping it hush, hush inside. You have to embrace and embody who you truthfully are express yourself. They don't want you to express yourself because then you don't fit in. Then you don't fit in. You have to express yourself. If you didn't fit in, there's a lot of warmongering things, right? And sometimes the war is, is waged on a different uh, plane of existence. Might even come from a different dimension. But we're focused on the Triforce, physically, mentally, and spiritually at this time. This is the Palm Sunday. This is what we all need to focus on. The Palm is a symbol of victory, triumph, peace, and eternal life. The Palm represents immortality. You have this within you. You are immortal the whole time. You were greater than you were led to believe. And today we're going to all focus on this. We are focused on victory, triumph, peace, 
and eternal life. Oh, this ain't your first rodeo, kid. The messenger, thank you so much. He will rise them from the gutters. Jesus proved that the metaphysical is real. It means that he has returned. Do you trust me? God is asking. God asks questions. You could ask questions to God. You'll get answers as well. The answers aren't always in spoken word. But you're going to have to feel through the energies of this time. You're going to have to, you know, read the symbols, the codes at this time. We all have to embrace this energy of victory. You're, you've already won. God already won. Some of you already know this. You could write it in the chat that God already won. God always wins in the end. Might take a little bit of time. It's not what we expected, but it's what we got. Triumph. You know, a lot of people are programmed in the subconscious mind. Oh, you always see these people on TV. Oh, they ah, they always get away with it, right? You ever, you ever catch yourself saying that? You see these sick people on the TV and you say, ah, they always get away with it. You have to focus on the, on the power of being triumphant right now. Virginia, thank you so much. Palm trees also have deep roots and now and know how to find water in dry places. Great lesson for us to dig our root, roots very deep. That's what it's all about. Thank you, Virginia. You have to have a solid foundation. When you have the solid foundation, a lot of people don't have a solid foundation. You, you actually build a solid foundation spiritually. Not with the money. Not with the Lamborghini so you could pull up to the Starbucks drive through and run the gas to get your macchiato while you sit in the line. You ever see, if you're new to the channel, you ever see that? I said, I said, wow. I said, this is the end of humanity. <laughs> you remember that one? They're sitting. There's the Lambo. There's the Starbucks, right? Gas was $5 or more a gallon, and they're just running the gas into the atmosphere. <sighs> the symbol of peace. You know, we, we ha there's, everything is a war on the TV. Turn off the TV. You could, you could turn on whatever you want to resonate with in the new earth. You're actually, uh, we're going through a massive cleansing right now. A massive cleansing and a rebirth. <laughs> a lot of people know that symbol, right? We're going through a massive cleansing and a rebirth. And it's a time period of peace. It doesn't seem that way, right? Because a lot of these um, serpents, they don't actually want you to live in peace. So that's why a massive cleansing is happening. It doesn't seem very peaceful right now. But it even states in the Hopi prophecy, it's the coming of the purifier. The coming of the purifier, you could write it in the chat. Write it in the comments. Focus on It's the coming of the purifier. It's the light of Christ. And the light purifies anything. It's cleansing us. It's, clen it's cleansing all of the densities that have been built up. The messenger, thank you so much. When God returned, he removed all sin. The sins you see are only the godless. The only wrong you can do is not answer the call. Yeah, we speak about that a lot on this channel. The godless ones actually are blaming you, the common everyday life people, for the things that they're actually doing. It's called projection. We have to learn what's actually going on. We could actually take you know, these words of scripture and actually focus on it. This is, oh, this is what's going on. Oh, they, 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 they were going around in their private jets. They were blaming us for that, that thing, all the pollution in the sky, right? It's the straight lining clouds. If you're new to the channel, right? 
Now we're hit, we're we're entering the fifth dimension. Hit the five 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 in the chat right now. If we hold the frequency, you know, a lot of people, you know, you have to hold the line. You actually have to hold the frequency. We are the one forty four, and we're scattered all over the world right now. You're looking around. You say, oh, oh, there's no one really like me that's around where I am, and we're all scattered around the world right now. We're all scattered everywhere. And we're all coming together. That's why you have to hold the frequency as we're going through the purifier. The world is being purified right now. Eternal life. Immortality. When we think of the programming, you think that, oh, you know, you, you will die. You will have eternal damnation. You ever hit, you ever get those subconscious programs? It's really important, right? So we're breaking past the uh, veil of deception at this time. You got to look at fear, guilt, and shame. And when you see things of fear, guilt, and shame, that actually does not represent God. It actually represents the devil or Satan or Lucifer, whatever you want to use. All these little creatures, right? Focus on the vibrational frequency. Is it fear, guilt, and shame? You see, some of these creatures, that's their God. It's not your God. God's not angry at you. We have to unlearn and relearn and reprogram ourselves. And that's what we're doing now, today, on this very powerful Palm Sunday. Are the palms in the chat? The palms are here. You have everlasting life. You are immortal. You know, we've all done this many times. We, we actually come into this uh, reality with amnesia. Some of you know you've lived before. You've lived many times before. Yeah, the lightning bolts are coming down the lion. The lightning bolts are cascading down in the chat. The lightning bolts, yeah. The light of Christ is returning and that highest state, the most high, the most high is the truth on the scale. A lot of people are not aware of that. The most high. Did you ever hear it? Christ is the truth? Christ is the truth. What is the most high? The most high of the scale, the highest of the high is the truth. It's actually higher than love. It's the most high. Hi, and that's what we all have to focus on at this time. We're not really focused on, you know, the, the love, the unicorns, the rainbows, the unicorn that's going over the rain. No, it's the most high is the truth. And that's what we need right now. That's how we purify it. When we focus on the truth, which is the Christ, even Nikola Tesla said light is information some people, the, uh, the spiritual wackadoos that are out there, they speak about light codes. Well, light is information, and you are getting these codes right now from the sun. You're getting these codes that are coming in right now to embrace where we need to go. It's resonating within the DNA receptors. It's the 144 DNA. The messenger, thank you. What is light without darkness? God has forgiven the sin without the sin and darkness. What would we have learned? The darkness is actually making our light shine brighter. Even myself on my journey, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the dark. But this is the coming of the purifier. It makes the light so much brighter when we come out of the dark. Please put a like on this video. I'm absolutely grateful if you take a second to click the like button. It's really helping us out during this time. Hit the five, five, fives in the chat. Focus on victory, peace, and everlasting life.
It's all about the purifier. The light purifies. The Holy Spirit fire purifies, right? That's what it's all about. The light. And a lot of you know the importance of purifying. This is what's happening now. You know, the, the, the sage purifies the air. It purifies your energy, right? Cleanse it all out. This is what's happening to the earth. It's the purifier. It's the Holy Spirit fire. You, you could get the Holy Spirit fire flames in the chat right now, right? It's the Holy Spirit fire. It is the purifier. That's what's going on right now. I know it... It's, oh, it's, oh, I don't like to, a lot of people like, oh, I don't want to see this. I don't want to talk about this. Oh, it's terrible, right? No, it is terrible. I was just talking to someone about it, you know, because, because I was raising awareness to the, uh, the news of the week. We're, we're getting rid of, of, of what's the, the most dangerous serpent type of all, the wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> you ever, you ever know about the wolf in sheep's clothing? They look so prestigious, right? They're supposed to be so godly. There's, you know, you could have the wolf in sheep's clothing. Wears a little white beanie on his head. People call him dope. All, all of the, uh, the news articles said uh, uh, the other day he had some pizza for dinner. And he goes out there and the people say, oh, he's so holy, holy, holy. He's so holy. The purifier. A lot of people, they, they don't, they don't, they don't, they were born into this subconscious program. They, they haven't seen it. They haven't seen it. Now it's time for the lions to roar. And when we have strength, we have the strength through peace. We're not participating in the matrix anymore. And the more we pull out, remember, you have to understand they feast. It's like a feast, right? They feast off your louche. You give them attention. Don't give them attention it's literally the currency of the universe. We spoke about that on this channel. Attention is the currency of the universe. So stop giving them your attention. Yeah, tie up all the loose ends. Tie them up. Tie up the loose ends. That's what this time period is all about. We're going through a great reset right now. A purification, if you will. And it's happening side by side. There's two timelines right now. The, the, you know, one matrix is failing. They're trying to pull people into another matrix because it, it, it can't last any longer. But that's why we're, we have the seal in the forehead. So we, oh, I see what's going on out there, serpent, right? Do you see? Are your eyes wide open? Or is it Krispy Kreme? You know about the Krispy Kreme? We have to stay awake at this time. And think, we, we can't look at. We cannot look at. You're going to have to see through. You can't just look at at this time. You're going to have to see through. You have to see through at this time. 5D Silver Truth, thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. Thank you. Chat is blowing up. The Messenger, thank you. God says, mirror me. Words have many definitions. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Words have many definitions. And that's why, listen, 
The subconscious programming, they put these words to cast spells. That's why they call it a broadcast. You watch a pro, oh, let's put on a television program. No, they're telling you, they're programming you. They're programming the subconscious mind. If you're new to the channel, 95% of the day, 95% of the time, you're running off of subconscious programs. You got to ask yourself, who was the writer of these programs? And we have to switch it out right now. It's a powerful time. It's a powerful year. 2023 is the seven. Everyone hit the seven, seven, sevens. Let's hold the frequency right now. Seven, seven, seven energy. That's where we have to be focused. We have to be focused on the rewards. Heaven on earth. When they said the meek shall inherit the earth, it doesn't mean that you're meek. The false idols, the prestigious ones, they're losing their control. And now the everyday life people are rising up. Are you rising up? Are the lions here? You have to rise up like the lion. The meek shall inherit the earth. It means the regular people, that's me and you, like the actual people with souls, like the actual people with souls. People are worshiping entities that aren't really uh, real. Everything is an illusion. You know, it's, it's really interesting. I just saw this video. They had this interview and this lady had a red dress and they were on the fancy carpet, right? The fancy shows. And then, and then a person was walking behind her, disappeared into thin, end, fear, thin air. It's an illusion. What are we actually seeing on the TV? They're casting a spell. It's a broadcast. Has anyone seen that? You see the false idol, the false idol's talking, and then they're on the, on the red carpet, and then all of a sudden, the person disappears. Totally right, right there, just disappears. People just keep on going. You are the receiver. And what, what, are you, what reality are you, are you receiving? Are you receiving the 432 hertz frequency reality? Or are you receiving the 440 hertz frequency reality? The messenger, thank you. Mandela effect, pure lion letter, not scarlet letter. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Perception becomes reality. The event is all about perception. Some people are literally witnessing the end of the world. It's over for them. They're literally going to witness a reality that ends. And some people are witnessing the birth of the new earth. But it's all about your perception. What is your perception on what you're seeing? Do you have a growth mindset? It's all about your mindset. Do you have a growth mindset or do you have a fixed mindset? Project AccuHope 777. Thank you so much for that. God bless you all. God bless you, Project. I appreciate you. It's the 777 codes. Yeah, we'll hold that seven code. Seventh heaven, you ever hear about that? It's seventh heaven. This is the year of seventh heaven. We're rising up to that code right now. Plato Joe one. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you, Plato. It's a great day to embrace the power of the palm, the peace palm. They don't want you to be in peace. There's no money when everyone's in peace, right? There's constant war that's actually created, constant wars. It's time to express ourselves and stop buying into the, the never-ending wars. You ever hear about the never, oh, there's the never-ending wars. 
It's just a program and they, they speak it into existence. But we have the 777 peace codes. Peace and prosperity is coming into the earth right now. The purifier is coming into the earth right now. And that is the light of Christ. And the light codes, yeah, the light codes are coming. Please take a second to hit the like button. I appreciate you if you hit the like button. It really helps this, this message get out there, especially during this time. It's a crazy time this week. Crazy times. Tough times make tough people. And that's what we have to embrace right now. Never stop. Never give in. But just keep going. We're building the, the strong foundation, right? The roots of that palm tree, those deep roots. You have to have the strong foundation right now. You have to have the strong foundation. If you don't have that strong foundation, the storm is going to knock you over. You have to have that strong foundation. And when you focus on that strong, building the strong foundation... The storm comes, you, with, you, you withstand the onslaught. There's an onslaught that's happening and an onslaught that's coming because nothing could stop this. You have to anchor in your roots. And this way you, you have that strong foundation. It really is important to have that strong foundation. The purifier arrives in peace. Jesus Christ comes in on a donkey. The purifier arrives in peace. We lay the palm down as a sign of victory, triumph, peace, and to remind us all that we have the everlasting life. This ain't our first rodeo. This ain't our first road, and it's not, it's not your first rodeo. You came here for this divine mission. You have a very powerful mission right now. It's a powerful time, and embrace who you truthfully are because so many people, uh, they say, uh, you know what, 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 what will they think about me? What will they say about me? Oh, oh. Do you, you ever catch yourself doing that? This is the message that you need to hear. Do you ever catch yourself, you say, oh, what, what do they think about me? What do they say about me? Who gives a shift? <laughs> Beautiful message on the, uh, on the channel page. You must master the art of not giving a shift. You can't care right now. Because regret is worse than failure. Regret is worse than failure. You will have regret. Don't you want to see it through? Don't you want to see it through? Don't you want to see everything that you are able to accomplish? My father taught me when I was a boy. You could accomplish anything that you put your mind to. You could accomplish anything that you put your mind to. That is what we have to focus on today on this Palm Sunday. You could accomplish anything. But they try to get in your mind with that self-doubt. You cannot doubt yourself at this time. You have to have the inexhaustible belief in yourself at this time. And when you have that inexhaustible belief, that's how we get the work done. We have to get the work done and we get the work done by having that belief in ourselves. The light is coming out to the world. It actually picks everyone else up. You ever see that, that display, right? One match gets lit and then all of the other matches go up. You're, you're causing ripple effect in your area. Others are going to see your, your, your Holy Spirit fire. They're going to see the flames. Yeah, let's light up the chat with some, with some uh, Holy Spirit fire right now. Light it up, light it up, light it up. 
That flame that lights up all the other matches, that's you. You have to focus on that this Palm Sunday. Simply by living in peace, it's really peaceful when you are uh, disconnected out of the matrix. You find this peace. I'm, I'm, I, it's so peaceful. It's, a, it's such an inner peace. And I hope that, and sometimes it might come in the form on my journey. If you're new to the channel, you know, please subscribe to the channel. I share about it. I was able to achieve this inner peace, but sometimes we go through trials and tribulations, but that's God purifying. Purify it, get it out, and now you can move forward. Nature boy, woo! I love you, brother. Thank you so much for the support. Seven, seven, seven. What a beautiful number. I appreciate you, Nature. Jesus drew in the sand when the authorities, <laughs> quote authorities, ran their mouths. God laughs at any that tries to use the above, uh, to try to go above the authority of Christ. That's us. That's true, nature boy. You have to laugh. You have to ignore. That's so what Jesus is doing there, nature. <laughs> yeah, you're on point, nature. What Jesus Christ is doing there is ignoring them, not giving them attention. Ooh, the boogeyman. Ooh, you got to pay attention to me. Ooh, it's scary, scary. You ever see, have you been seeing it since 2020? Ooh, pay attention. There's the boogeyman. Ooh, he's so scary. Pay attention, humans. Cut their life force energy off. Don't give them your loose. They want you paying attention to all the fear mongering out there. Instead of focused on that, you're focused on becoming the greatest version of yourself. If you're here to become the greatest version of yourself, please smash the like button. If this message is helping you become the greatest version of yourself, share this message today. And that's how we create a ripple. Do you know about ripples? We create a ripple. This is such a power of this ripple. There's waves. There's waves in the universe. You're putting a ripple out to the quantum field. That ripple then bounces back and it comes to you. That's why we have to be very, very cautious and very, very empowered with the greatest force in the universe. It is the I am presence. I am. You could write it in the chat. You have to focus on that I am presence today, the Palm Sunday. What are you creating? That's why I am the best there is at what I do. And you could flood it in the chat and flood it in the comments. Embrace it. I am. And tell the world who you are. You have to embrace, express yourself, express yourself, whatever you are. A teacher, a, a healer, a warrior, whatever you are, I am, and express it today. It's the Palm Sunday. Express your existence. Otherwise, you're living someone else's life. We are no longer living somebody else's life. I am that I am. All that is and ever will be. You're actually creating the reality. You're creating the, re each and every one of us are actually restructuring the timeline through your DNA. Emerged in water. It's all about the water. Your DNA receptors right now as the incoming light of Christ from the great solar flash. You're like a, a nuclear power plant. Congratulations. You're like a nuclear power plant, Light Warrior. Jesus was trying to tell us these are the people that came before us to leave the breadcrumbs for right now. 
This time was coming. That's why these seeds had to be planted a long time ago. The seeds had to be planted a long time ago. And in divine timing, the activations are occurring. It's actually happening over the course of your personal journey right now. You're getting the activations. You're getting the codes. And then all of a sudden, boom, you level up. And that's what we all have to embrace. We have to embrace the highest version of ourselves at this time. We have to embrace the 777 codes at this time. Peace, victory, triumph, everlasting life. And so it is. If you find this message interesting and you would like to learn more about our reality in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration, why don't you click subscribe, give the video a like so it becomes visible to more people, and please share with one other person because when we all share with one other person, we will rapidly grow our 5D community. <sighs> yep. It's the 144 sealed in the forehead. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please, everything that you do to get this message out to the people. Yeah, we're powering up right now. We're getting the star. We're getting the invincible codes right now. The messenger writes within two months. The <laughs> you never know. Who we're maybe we're all the chosen ones, right? The one forty four. It's a collection. It's we the people. You could write it in the chat right now. It's we the people. And we're blasting off like, like the stars. You're a star. It's within, it's within you right now. It's within you. So I'm, I'm absolutely grateful for all of the support. Smash the like button. Share this video link. If, if you're watching on the replay or if you're on the live, come back in this video. Write a comment. What is the I am presence that you are embracing? I will do the same. Let's flood this video with comments. Let's get it out to the people. It's Palm Sunday. It's victory. It's triumph. It's peace. And now you embrace the everlasting life. I love you all. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.